When it comes to cooking, the real question isn't what's for dinner. It's how messy can I make this kitchen? This age-old debate, one that's divided families, sparked heated arguments among friends, and left couples silently fuming over towers of crusty dishes is about to get real. Are you team clean as you go, diligently scrubbing dishes mid-recipe as though spotless countertops are your main ingredient? Or do you roll with team deal with it later? Piling up pots and pans with the reckless abandon of someone who believes messes simply disappear overnight. If you're a clean-as-you-go champion, you know who you are. You are the people who proudly say things like, a clean workspace is an efficient workspace, or I love multitasking. You can't resist wiping down the counters after every sprinkle of salt and scrubbing the bowl clean before the batter even hits the oven. For you, washing dishes mid-cooking is basically cardio, and yes, you do count it as me time. While the food's cooking, you're standing there, spatula in one hand, sponge in the other, balancing like a kitchen acrobat. Why just wait around and watch water boil when you could be rinsing your measuring cups? The sauce hasn't even simmered, and you're already finishing off round two with the sink. For some reason, you live for that everything's done and there's no mess left moment as you set the perfectly clean pan back on its pristine stovetop. Does anyone actually love wiping down the counters four times in an hour? The clean-as-you-go crowd insists it's relaxing, which is exactly what people say about tedious chores when they're in denial. Sure, you get to enjoy dinner knowing there's no mountain of dishes to tackle later, but by that point, you've practically scrubbed your fingers down to nubs and forgotten what you even cooked. Then, on the other end of the spectrum, we have the deal-with-it-later rebels. These fearless souls see a dirty kitchen not as a burden, but as a badge of honor a cluttered counter, an art installation, a stack of dishes, a small mountain challenge destined to be scaled someday. Cooking is your creative process, and hey, geniuses don't have time to waste washing spatulas. They're too busy perfecting the perfect sear on a steak. This team finds joy in the aftermath of a meal, letting the dishes soak while they savor their culinary masterpiece. Spoiler alert, they're not soaking, they're fossilizing. And isn't there something oddly satisfying about ignoring that pile in the sink for just a little longer? The dishes will still be there tomorrow, and really, what's the hurry? Dinner is about enjoyment, relaxation, and pretending the chaos you left in the kitchen will magically resolve itself by morning. To you, the clean-as-you-go people are the villains of the kitchen, the neat freaks who make you feel guilty for just living your best, messiest life. Who decided cleaning is supposed to be fun, anyway? You're pretty sure the clean-as-you-go crowd is secretly miserable. They're just too proud to admit it. In a perfect world, there's a mythical third option, the balanced cook. This person washes a dish or two here and there, just enough to keep things from devolving into a full-blown disaster. The balanced cook believes in harmony, maintaining a reasonable amount of mess while cooking and then doing a manageable cleanup at the end. This person is a legend, a creature of myth, rarely seen and widely envied. But let's be honest. You're either scrubbing the pan as soon as it's empty or letting it sit for days. No one actually exists in that delicate middle ground. Now here's where things get tricky. What if a clean-as-you-go and a deal-with-it-later share a kitchen? It's chaos, that's what. The clean-as-you-go will passive-aggressively wash the dishes the deal-with-it-later left behind, muttering about how it would be nice if someone appreciated cleanliness around here. Meanwhile, deal-with-it-later will stroll in, casually move a dish off the drying rack, the horror, and proceed to add yet another unwashed pan to the sink with the confidence of someone who knows they're driving someone else nuts. Eventually, 
This dynamic turns into a silent battle of wills, and no one wins. Team Clean As You Go may revel in their spotless kitchens, but they secretly resent every second of lost relaxation time they've spent scrubbing saucepans mid-simmer. Team Deal With It Later? They're fine now, but wait until they have to chisel dried pasta sauce off a pot they swore they'd get to tomorrow. In the end, one thing is clear. No one really enjoys the cleanup part of cooking. We're all just trying to make it through meal prep without losing our minds. So the next time you find yourself wiping down counters compulsively or looking the other way as dirty dishes pile up, just remember you're not alone. And no matter what side you're on, the dishes aren't going anywhere.